guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Hannah, the author of this copy and paste painting book. If you don't have a copy yet, I suggest you visit my website and you go and make a purchase for this. What today, what I wanted to show you is, in addition to the art book that you've purchased, is the materials that you need uh, to complete your projects. So I'm going to talk about a little bit about the paints, how to stretch your canvas sheet, and um, all the equipment that you need, cleaning, etc, etc, etc. So I'm so excited, but if you don't have a copy of this yet, I suggest you visit my website and you go and get your copy there now. So what we have is a, a flat, hard surface board. It can be a wooden board, it can be a masonite board, as long as it's sort of a, a smooth, um, surface uh, that would be adequate. You're going to need some sticky tape to stick it onto your wooden board. You're going to need scissors. You're also going to need press stick. Okay, that is what you need to get your grayscale print mounted onto your wooden flat surface board, whatever you're going to be using. Okay, and then if you want to paint in oil, of course, you're going to need paint. So for the purpose of this demo, I've purchased a ten, a, a set of a ten different colors uh, in a in a set. That's also always good to start with a set. These tubes are fairly big. Uh, what I would suggest in the set, they use an ivory black. They do use a lemon yellow. Uh, you can use those colors, but. Um, I would expand and, and rather instead of the lemon yellow get a cadmium yellow which is more a basic yellow that you can mix and your colors with. I also work in paints grey. I would suggest that you get an emerald green or a viridian green to work with and a primary cyan or a pathalo blue. Um, and then of course there is a tube of white in the set but you always need loads of white so as soon as you run out do yourself a favor and purchase a huge tube of your white paint. Very helpful to have is a color wheel. Most of the instructions are on there so it's just careful reading it helps you a lot with your colors and how to mix colors okay because that is like a whole class on its own. And then you're going to need a palette to mix your paints on. Okay, I prefer using the tear of palettes. That's so easy to clean. Once you've done, you just tear it off and you chuck it in the bin and it's no mess. You're going to need some mineral turpentine to clean your brushes with. I just use normal mineral turpentine. If you're going to be using oil paints, I suggest that you get a... a a linseed oil, some genuine turpentine and some oil paint medium. There are various products on the market ranging in price. It doesn't really matter. The one that I use is Dola. It's a South African brand. It's uh, fairly cheap in, in relation to the other brands that are imported into South Africa, but it's adequate really. Uh, you'll see that there's a Zalen, for instance, but there are various, various uh, ranges available at your local art sh store. So, yeah, get your linseed oil. Linseed oil, I would say, is like the moisturizer for your oil paint. If you're going to be using, working in glazes and use turpentine mixed into your oil paints, I suggest you use genuine turpentine and not uh, mineral turpentine. Your paint medium or oil painting medium, uh, various products on the market, that is also, it thins down your paint a little bit, it makes it a little bit more flexible, especially when it's dry. Your paint from the tube uh, is dry, so your oil paint medium is the very little, mix it into your paint and it just speeds up the drying process of the oil paints because it can take quite a long time to actually dry but this speeds up the process and then you can carry on working remember we're painting in layers and layers and layers and layers so sometimes you want things to dry a little bit quicker other times I would just use 
uh, the linseed oil and um, that also you know it takes a bit longer to dry and it gives it a little bit of shine to your oil paints so you are going to need some kitchen towel paper we always make a mess i just use these tins uh, from this food that you've used in the kitchen keep those tins don't put turpentine in plastic containers it tends to like dissolve some of the plastic containers that you use then you're going to need a few paint brushes i prefer flats uh, short bristles hard bristles this is a, a nylon brush um, it's got some round tips there which is fabulous for do finer details um, and then the set that I've got here has got a bit of hogs here and synthetic brushes also a round tip one and a flat um, which gives it a your, your, your hogs here is more like suitable for oils but I find that the synthetic brushes work just as well especially you want to get a smooth uh, application. You're going to need a palette knife to mix your paints with. Um, I prefer using a round tip uh, palette knife, uh, number one or a number two. Never discard any of your old paint brushes. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. It really helps a lot when you start with blending and um glazes but this unfortunately you have to actually paint a lot to get a brush to look like that okay so now we've got the blending brushes we've got a palette i'm sure you guys have loads of brushes at home that you can use um always say you know depends on what you master what you feel comfortable with so you need to really find a paintbrush that works for you that you can handle okay then you're gonna need a rag with this one as well used an old towel or kitchen towel uh works beautifully you just wipe your brush on there when there's excess paint and then i do suggest that you get yourself an apron so that you don't get all that messy oil paint on your clothes that you cannot get rid of again so in the next clip I will also tell you about the if you're going to be using acrylics to complete your projects. So this is what you need. I will make a list and post it on my channel so that you don't need to watch this over and over again. The most important thing here is that you actually have the copy and paste painting book and so that you can get started with your projects. Great stuff, so this is for now. I'll chat later.